Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girls, boys, boils and girls, welcome back. We're playing a pretty sweet Rakdos aggro deck, rag, ragro deck. And uh, this was submitted by iBob. And um, yeah, I think I like the way it looks. This is probably going to fit in the one drop slot, so that's pretty good. This guy could potentially go in the four drop slot. It's probably a little... 50-50. Uh, Soren being able to put ha Haunt of Hightower into play is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so basically we have uh, Knight of the Ebon Legion and Skewer the Critics. Uh, Knight goes very well with Soren. Dreadheart Butcher is a zombie, not a vampire, though, so not as... Uh, there's not a ton of zombies in here, or a, a ton of vampires in here, interestingly enough. But Soren's abilities, even if you're not a vampire, are pretty decent. Um... The problem is that I actually didn't realize the second one is also vampire. Interesting. So you're basically just using the plus one, presumably, for like Rix or, or Knight or putting a Haunt of High Tower into play. So um, I think that's going to be your main goal. I want to see if this guy's actually great in here or if we just need more vampires to make it worthwhile. There could even be more vampires that fit this theme. We'll see. Uh, as far as removal, you have Bedevil, Cast Down. Uh, and screw the critics, but this is probably going to go to the face when you want it to. <clears throat> yeah, Soren being mentioned for pumping Knight and Haunt is still still probably just fine. And even if you give like a Dread Horde Butcher, Life Link, and Death Touch, it's still pretty good. Um, then you have Judith, Spawn of Mayhem, uh, Duress, Elder Spell, Fry, Lava Coil, and Angress Rampage in the sideboard. This is a lot of four and five damage spells, so we might want to see what else is available just because but um we'll see we'll see either way i'm very curious as to uh see what this deck can can do and let me x let me let me upload this bad boy i've got spurs that jingle jangle jingle so m20 rakdos aggro Okay, so. All right, let's see how this. Look at that, look at that lag, which is fine. That happens. Uh, all right, click it once, go here, roll it up. I've got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Lotus feels like you, <laughs> opponent. Good to good to know. Good to know. Just happy little design secrets. That's pretty funny. Oh, dislike. Oh, like. Keep six. Uh, let's get rid of Skewer here. Everything else I like. Our opponent's name is Suffer Anger. Let's see if we're going to make us suffer any anger here. Karazov? Oh, the seven mana dude? Oh, it looks like we're just playing against blue, green, flashy boys. That's fascinating. They hate torment? What's torment? What do you mean? I guess this is actually mono blue. Oh, spawn. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. 
I have a wizard's retort. Is this a wizard? That's a spirit pirate. You can't even wizard retort me, bruh. Bruh. Oh, that's cool. Super cool. Huh. Well, I really don't want to attack into this now. Now you just made things awkward. worth it? I don't think it's even worth it, right? Oh, we actually could have went Haunt of Hightower there. That would have been sick. Got it, my dude. So they block here, presumably. And they take five. I'm okay with it. Absolutely exhausting. You are correct. We are probably dead. I guess we'll just shoot one to your face. Only three more months of mono blue. Thank goodness. Hey guys, happy no mono blue anniversary. Oh, we lose big Teferi too then? That's pretty nice. mana, huh? You got it. Wow, three Merfolk Tricksters. Fascinating. Yep, that's pretty good. Merfolk hat tricksters. Dear God. Yep. 43 to 49. They've only drawn seven more cards than we have, which is totally reasonable. It's a totally reasonable number of cards to draw. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game here. I feel like we don't really have the resources here to... Uh, So, but Devil is actually just worse than either of these here. Everything else seems fine. I don't think we care about Amagrass Rage or Elder Spell or Duress. Duress could be good.
What up, Kanji? How many curious obsessions when it comes to talking? I think the first one, I felt pretty stalked afterwards. I will keep. Snap keep. Two drop and a land is what we want on top. Two drop and a land. That's the name of my buddy cop show, Two Drop and a Land. Are you going to have your end step? I'm actually just going to... I'm tempted to skewer them just so I can get this trigger here. I don't know how good that is. The thing is, if we hit a land, we're going to be pretty uh, pretty busy with our mana for the next few turns. And Faden, no worries, man. I really appreciate you saying so. That is not a land. <laughs> I'll have a dive down or a spell pierce, you see. I have all the counter spells to protect my 1-1. One, one. Oh, look, you cannot pay for this. Well, we still have to hit a third land, so. But if we do, we'd be haunting. Oh, little Sergil mares. Oh, wow, that's that's something right there. All right, well, no third land, unfortunately. I feel like with 23 lands, we should actually be able to hit a third land, but... What are the odds? What are the odds he does anything? Does he resolve? No. Nah. Yeah. I feel like we're just way far, like we're just too far behind. Like, we're never going to be able to kill this creature. I'm pretty convinced when they have an extra... They draw an extra card every turn and... Uh, 25,000 cards in their deck are counter spells. Yeah, alright. Unfortunate. Alright, so... I feel like we definitely want some more number of vampires. And I think we're fine with adding them, considering we have... Well, two drops would have been ideal, but... Not a single red card that is a vampire. That is fascinating. Vicious Conquistador is not terrible. I do think we have too many bedevils and too many cast downs. I think we can cut one bedevil and two cast downs here. Like, you want to make sure you always have pressure to be putting on, especially when we have Skewer the Critics. Probably cut another bedevil actually for just a play set of something. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> I do I do worry that the Haunt of Hightower is probably too cute, even though I do like it a lot. Dire Moon? What's Dire Moon? Oh, Vampire of the Dire Moon? Um, I worry that it's not enough pressure. I would rather have two damage. What's the red Adanto Vanguard? What's that dude called? God, I'm never going to be able to find that. Jester Poo, have a good afternoon, buddy. <clears throat> uh, the Red Adanto Vanguard, where are you? You guys know what I'm talking about. Unchained Berserker, there we go. Yeah, this guy. So instead of Indestructible, he's a pro-white dude. Hmm. Savage Gorger? I don't even know what that is. Gorger? I have no idea what your... I don't know what a Savage Gorger even is. I looked up Gorger and Savage and it did not show up. Uh, probably not drafting today. Uh, I do like Warboss as a creature. Right, I agree with you. I agree with both of those those points, Badger. The problem is that like I don't think this deck is going to be blocking at any point. Savage Gorge, what the f what is that? What is this? What is this like a promo? What the hell is this? Where did this come from? Wow, that's crazy. All right, so we got four slots. Um, the problem is I don't think you ever want to play Rick's Mad-Eye Reveler at two. I mean, I think it's fine at like four, maybe. But like this deck also doesn't feel like it's dumping its hand super quickly. Like, I almost want just more Conquistadors. Yeah, that's fine. Craft them. This deck seems to... Sure, that's great, but we're trying to fix that, right? Uh, we only have 500 uncommons. No, don't. Get out of this. Put four of these guys in, <clears throat> and we'll put, like... Because I really want to maximize the the effectiveness of Soren. I think Soren is really strong. I think Dust Legion Zealot is also fine. It draws you cards. It's a great sacrifice outlet for Soren or for... I'll take two of these guys out. The Flying Vampire that drains three after Soren? I don't know what that is. Oh, Vampire Sovereign? Vampire Sovereign's great. I actually think this card's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> Alright, let's just try it like this for now. Do I not have any Blood Craze Paladins? That would be interesting. 
I don't. Did that not show up when I searched for vampire? Uh, oh, there he is. All right. Let's I just want to make sure that the Soren is actually getting out of value. Yes. All right, let's live this room one time. That's not it. Come on, land. 23rd land one time. fine. I'm okay with it. Ooh Shut up. Take my money. Uh, put a vampire into play, boys. Advertise. This stream brought to you the great taste of molten boron. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Really glad to have molten boron as a stream sponsor. Appreciate it. Are we going to connect? Oh boy. The dream is alive. Guys, I'm going to send some more codes in the chat. I totally forgot to send codes. Hopefully. <clears throat> ba boom boom boom. Well, this is a dream game for sure. <clears throat> it's doing things, guys. It sure is. It sure is. Neganaut, glad you can glad you grabbed it, buddy. I got more going around too. I got like they gave me like a hundred codes, so. Say hi to my fiery friend. Don't tell me what to do. Is this, is this Planeswalker or player? Oh wow, that's brutal. This is not my final demise. Still fine. We're at 23? That seems like a lot. Discard a card, my dude. So wait, 6, 10... No, we couldn't kill them this turn. Because they would go to 4 and then we'd have Skewer.
I don't think that's going to do it, guys. I, it's always, it never fails that as soon as someone shit talks a card, that's when the card, the, sh the card is going to shine the very next game. Alright, let's make these bigger now. The red deck. I don't think I actually care about any of these cards against the red deck, to be quite honest. Maybe Duress. Actually, Bedevil seems good here. Cast Down seems alright. I don't think anything... I don't think we really have a super great sideboard for this. I'm going to throw another code out in the chat. <clears throat> These are just for M20 packs, but I have a lot of them, so. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oh, there you go. It's your boy. Derringer, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. Thank you. Rogue Optic, Dev, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I don't want to play Dreadhorde Butcher because then they just trade and that's pretty bad. So we're just going to attack. Let's see what happens. Dang it, Vicious Conquistador. Wow, that was interesting. Why not the Knight of the Ebon Legion? That seemed less than ideal, but I don't I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know how I feel about that. It's your boy. Thank you. Land Seahorse, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, it's a Legion War boss. His zeal has ended. And now... Tim, this guy... Yeah, I'm like, let's go. Let's block. Come on. We're blocking. Block it up. Alright. I was like... Every time that happens, I'm like, can this guy not block? Did I just misread it? <clears throat> Alright. Black, black, red. We just need black. So, I think we're just bedeviling... Eh. 
and Conquistadoring. Conquistador is nice because it's a one two, so. Get that counter. Does this guy get lifelink or just death touch? Just death touch? That's too bad. Badger with a casual 10 gifted sub. Totally reasonable. Totally reasonable. Badger, thank you so much, dude. You are awesome, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. I'm amazed at this Calvocate of Calamity doing the work it's doing. This guy can block, right? Okay, we're gonna block an elemental. Thank you. I'm not sure if it matters, but Thank So what you're at eleven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we pump this guy and you're dead, right? Thank you. Got him! Badger is an extremely awesome dude, and I really appreciate him. Okay, so... I wouldn't... I, I nece nothing necessarily stops me that... That match is not being good. Oh, Soren 6 drop! How many packs do we have now? Two? Just one. Okay. Oh, well. I think we'll keep this. This guy. This is decent because the Lurks Manny Reveler actually gets sort of one of these lands, which might be too, too, too many. I was gonna say too frequent, but I'm like, that eh, doesn't work. Get him. It was a tooth. It was a tooth and no nail, though. Just a tooth. I, I think that card's good. I like that card a lot. Okay, okay, lots of things are happening here. Kindling Phoenix, how much I hate you. Solid. Uh, no attacks. Yikes. Okay. 
aggressive. Well, that's something, isn't it? Wish we had one more land, then we can bedevil this, but uh, alas, nay. And that's the end. All right. Man, I thought that turn three was very good, or we got to kill two of their creatures and attack for like five, but apparently that was the end of the line. Elder spell seems decent here. So does so does rampage actually, but I'm not sure what we're taking out for all of these. Skewer could hmm, probably worse. I like this hand if we had lands on top. Yeah, this is better. I think this is actually better than than killing this guy right now. actually want to play the land because we have no reason to hold it and if we hit a second land we can activate this twice so And this is such a pain in the ass against the, like the the decks who want to be aggressive. So they block here. Or they take one. If 
He just can't kill Nissa. Which is unfortunate. So we actually played a Rakdos deck previously, uh, not too long ago. A similar similar style, like the with the aggressive like sacrifice themes, and it's just like it's my my biggest problem with Rakdos right now is like the creatures you're playing are not as good as the other creatures you're playing against, and I'm not sure there's a way to overcome that. Like when Nissa can just make three threes every single turn, like you really don't have a, a lot of discourse against that. Or recourse against that, rather. Yeah, and see them like we draw one drops, and it's like, this card's great, but... Like, you're just, you're not applying damage as as fast as the the red decks you're not going as big as the green decks and you're not like you're not applying enough pressure fast enough for like the the control decks it's so like you can get them to 11 but i'm like trying to think are like are there really good cards that were just like missing like i almost feel like you want to be like more of a mid-range high-end deck with cards like chandra Yeah, I do like... I like Rekindled Phoenix a lot. I think Soren might be too cute for this version of the deck. Like, I just feel like... I you, I mean, like, I love Soren more than anyone. I, I champion that card to the teeth. Plus, I think he's very, very good. Um, I just don't think we have a vampire to really take advantage of him. I like Twilight Prophet a lot. I just don't know how frequently we'll be having uh, the City's Blessing. Oh yeah, I think Knight is great, and I have no problem with playing the Knight. But like, if we can, if we take out Soren, then we don't need Conquistador, we don't need Dusklidge and Zealot. What's all this then? Wow, that was aggressive. Uh, let's take it in a little bit different of a direction, as long as Ibob does not mind. Let's take out the haunts, which I do love a lot. I also I'm never impressed with Judith, because you just you don't get wide enough. If you could go like hordling outburst into a Judith, I think it's great, but I just don't think there's enough wideness, if that makes sense. Everything else I like here. Some let's look for these two cards. And let's see what we can find. I have whoa, those are some those are some styles right there. Those are some Julia styles right there. Okay. I want like res resourceful, like resilient creatures that do a lot of things. How about Dreadhorde Invasion, actually? That's interesting. Hmm. I, I mean, if we were playing a black-white deck, I could see Oathsworn Vampire. Or, um... Hmm. What do the Cavaliers do? Uh, when I started to discover cards to draw my cards, because they understand it's percent talk to each Planeswalker they control. It's not bad. Bitter Hard Blossom Vasion. That's that's something right there. That's a thing. <clears throat> Ooh, 
let's try. Hardfire is good. I like Hardfire a lot, actually. I, the thing, the problem is like, well, again, what's our payoff though, right? Like, we want to have a payoff. We want to be able to sack these things and have a sweet payoff for them. Priest of the Forgotten Gods is also pretty good, and I think it's probably better than um, what's the other dude we just had, Rick's Mad Eye. Glenhorn Buccaneer is actually pretty interesting. Everyone keeps, you know, like, you guys keep mentioning Mayhem Devil, but I just don't think it's that good. If it was any time a creature died, if it was, like, a Blood Artist trigger, I would be, like, um, I, I would be on board because, you know, then you just get a bunch of triggers. But, like, it's only when you specifically sacrifice something. If we're going for sack, we do have to change the deck, but I don't think we're going for sacrifice specifically. I don't think we have any reason to do that. I'm just saying, like, if we're playing Heartfire, we want to be rewarded for playing Heartfire. I'm not saying we are doing that. Um, I just want to, this is a creepy looking, that is a creepy looking altar promo, whatever, whatever. Like another thing you want is that you want ways to refill. Like after you, after you sacrifice all your guys or after all your guys dies, after all your guys dies, after all your guys die. And, um, like, that's why a lot of the decks run Midnight Reaper, because it's just a great way to take advantage of the guys just dying naturally. Ruin Raider was also a card we tested in the previous build. Just because it's going to guarantee you a card every turn. Bantu is not a way to, to... I mean, Bantu and Mayhem Devil are, are a combo for sure, but I don't think they're actually, like... I mean, we'd have to, like, really build around that. There was a three drop that I was looking for. Maybe it was a four drop. I don't know. I was thinking of something. Somebody mentioned something. Oh, the th it's the red guy. It's the red gentleman. The red gentleman, he says. Mr. Mayhem Rider. I don't know what he, I don't know what his name is. Devil Mayhem. Devil Dog. Glinhorn Buccaneer. Whenever you discard a card, it deals one damage to each opponent. Discard a card and draw a card. I mean, it's a two four for three. That's actually pretty decent. Drop red, add green and blue. Wow, that's good. A bond two only refills if you're sacking like a bunch of dudes and. Historically, it's not ref it's not really refilling. You're getting rid of things. Uh, is this what's just the Chandra that like? Hmm. I think we try this guy. It's not legendary. Yeah, you can sack Lance Demontu. But again, we have 23 lands so far, so. I feel like there's a lot of space to be explored in Standard, but I feel like the control decks are really kind of... Uh... Just really oppressive, you know? I also like Risk Factor. Risk Factor is a card that we haven't seen in quite a bit. What about Krenko? Oh, do we like Krenko? Raging Crunch? <laughs> yeah, it's pronounced Kronk, Frank. It's already been established as canon that it's pronounced Kronk. Oh, well, excuse me. Well, that's my bad. I do like Rekindling Phoenix. I do like Rekindling Phoenix. What does this dude do? Oh, it's a plus one, plus one counter. Get out of here. 
You are, you must be the bell of the ball, little buddy. I actually like this Chandra. Yeah, this Chandra is pretty good. Maybe we just, what if we just play a bunch of Planeswalkers? Like, a, what if it's like a black-red Planeswalker deck with just a bunch of value creatures? Is that a thing we can do? I don't know. Hmm. What about Angry Minotaur Dadwalker? Oh, I like Angrath a lot. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what Planeswalker cards we got here. Oh, what kind of Planeswalker cards do you have? Um, Sarkon is fantastic as well. Two Angrath. Oh, let's... All right. All right, we're gonna go a little bit different of a direction. I'm gonna take a little. I'm gonna take some liberties here. I'm gonna put two Sark on the master list. Uh, I like two of the other Chandra, the four drop Chandra that gives us free things. This one. Also, one Neheb seems like it could be fun. It triggers with this guy, right? Whenever you discard, it deals one damage to each opponent. Uh, it's it's opponent though. Okay, I'm, I'm, as long as you're okay with this, as long as you're okay with this, I'm good. I'm good. Um, let's get rid of the Zealots. I think this guy is still very good. Still good enough to keep. Oh, let's put one Neheb in here then. Oh, we do want to add a land. Let's take out one spawn and we'll add one more land. 4-4. Uh, four, four. Are there any lands we're missing? There's no temples, right? Oh, come on. Just just add the lands we have. Don't be like this. Yeah, I like 7-9 better because we added a bunch of red cards. Oh, the Planeswalker Beacon Land could be good. I don't know if we need it, though. We're only two colors. All right, let's give this a go. This is just going to be a tentative. Yeah, Temple of Malice, but they, that was that's not an option yet though, just because uh, only the enemy color temples were printed so far. Uh, the lag was the lag happened after one of the most recent updates. I'm pretty sure they're going to address it soon. I think it's I think it's fine. It's manageable. Manageably, manage, manageable. I can't. I can't, I'm trying to. Talking's hard, guys. Talking's hard. Oh, spawn is probably not as good because he took a lot of the aggressive creatures out. I knew there was a reason I cut one spawn. We might just want to switch spawn to something else. But man, I'm like, I'm concerned. I'm on one hand, I'm concerned with like changing the deck too much. On the other hand, I want to find a Rakdos deck that could potentially work in this standard format. Okay, so we need two drop here. It's not it, unfortunately. But they're not gonna flip, so that's good.
Uh, instead of Hellcat, I was actually thinking Rekindling Phoenix. It's just like the... So this, is, this works, right? Yeah, this is not gonna... You can't pump this guy at this juncture, so... I was like, what are you doing? What's going on right now? He's giving him pro red, duh, everybody knows that. Everybody knows about the pro red. So they got one, two, three, four, five. So if we pump Chandra to four she, or five, she just dies. That's unfortunate. Might just want to play spawn here. I hope they don't have a removal spell in their two cards. Oh, let's play that instead. That's your boy. We're five. Where's a cry of the carnarian when you need it? Nehebra. <laughs> Holy shit, that's gas. All right, well. Oh, God, they just block. Oh, I guess we bedevil this guy. If they want to block and pump. We got tramps. Sure. Sure. Damage. Buddy, peace out. Trigger. Looking for something. One, two, three. I don't think Chandra does anything for us here either. So I'm just going to actually ship all four. Get four cards. Oh, that's not terrible. So we can got four red. They're at 13. I mean, we can block one of these guys. Hmm. Oh, uh, we don't have. I don't think we have Ingress Rampage. We have it in the sideboard. We have three in the sideboard, I believe. So five mana. We only have two black though, so we can play this guy. And I guess we'll cast down like, it's gotta be this guy otherwise. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be, but. Now we get the block. This is a surprisingly decent turn. Neb was pretty busted there, just gained four mana. Not bad. Not bad. Got a block, otherwise we die. You take four, you go to nine. Oh, they just traded with it. This is where they're gonna kill us? They can play Soren and... Target Neheb. Target Neheb. They didn't. They didn't target Neheb. Okay. Alright. I understand. I don't think any of these are great.
We'll just smell like this and we'll hope we don't have uh, our first place on turn length. When is the fall coming? Because I'm thinking to craft some cards. Um, Like two and a half months. It's still a ways away. Vanguard is also... You didn't know Vanguard was a vampire? I literally wrote about this in my in my Cool Stuff Inc. article about Soren when we spoiled him. And I also wrote... I have been... I even talked about this in the multiple streams we've done with this. You're out of control, dude. You are out of control. Yeah, because M20 like just came out, Gregory. So like, it's the next set, the very next set after M20, whatever that is. Uh, that's when the old cards rotate out. And usually it's about three every three months. So you probably have like two and a half months left over until the next set. Yeah, my problem my, my, my problem is that um I don't think you seem to be great at recovering Juposhi. Got him. Got him. This is nice because it either gets in there and gets bigger, or they trade. And if they're trading, then we're just—it's the same as like us cast casting down this guy. Yeah, it seems fine. I mean, wow. Yeah, that's right, buddy. That's right. What are you gonna do about that? The answer is nothing. This card is fairly obnoxious i'm not a fan are you and mike gonna do a commander stream for c19 oh that's interesting we could how oh, we can we can see if we can do that do 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 there's a lot of blood crypts guys well time to go home catch you later brandon have a good afternoon buddy enjoy going home This figure does seem main deckable. I agree with that. That seems like a... Are we foes now? Yes. Got him. I'm going to hold this out here. Get out of my life. Go ahead. You raise your children to hate me and you see what happens. You see what happens. You see what happens. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear you guys. Can you speak up? I'm sorry. Can you guys, can you guys talk into my good ear? It's 2 a.m. and I cannot stop watching. That's good. That's a solid... All right, so All right, we're changing the skewers and the spawns too cuz we're not really a spectacle deck anymore. Is that Elk Tears? Is that my old friend Elk Tears? My old my old buddy pal. Can you hear me? I'm working on it. I'm trying. 
Let's double down on the weirdness, right? I feel like this is the high-quality content you guys are here for. It's Marvin! Marvin Berry! You know that new sound you were looking for? Well, listen to this! Oh, wow, my ears got real weird right now. Oh my god, we have, like, nothing to cast here. I feel like we're so dead right now. All you need is a blonde wig and you're basically Rob's mom. I haven't even seen Rob's mom before. How do you know that? This is what I was talking about in the email. Oh man, Badger, as long as you're as long as you're alright with it, my dude. We are good to go. I will tell my children hunt for the man with the large ears and the pretty eyes and the voice like a butter flavored kid cat. You will know him when you see him. Or hear him. I have to adjust this webcam this zoom in here because it's not it's not where we want it to be oh I'm moving everything though everything's getting moved And whatever. I feel like we're way far behind, guys. I guess we can wipe the board, but then they deal one, two, three, four, five. Eh, that's pretty bad. And then they can sack a thing and deal with more. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't do it. Do you ever think about that? Maybe they don't do it. I hate the regular but I think he got great. Ah, uh, it's. I don't think that's. Mm, it's hard to say. Take a closer look. I would never risk that. Okay, well we're not dead yet. I guess this is four and this is... No, I guess they can't deal eight total this turn. They can kill our Shandy. They could also just play a second Soren and be like, oh. Hmm. Well. We are at three. Which means Soren kills us. Let's see what you can find. You wanna play with fire, huh? That's no. Oh, that's not gonna do it. It's you burning. Oh, they knew it. Dang it, they're so good at this. All right, let's 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 keep tweaking. We got some tweaking to do. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm actually excited about what this deck is going to... Wow, we didn't draw a single Glinthorn Buccaneer. Let's get Rekindly Boys. One, two, three. We're leaning towards a lot of red here. Black, what do we want? What's good at black for three? Try putting four Risen Reefs in your deck. Buccaneer? How do, how do people say it? Glenhorn Buccaneer, Buccaneer, what Buccaneer? What's what am I? What's what's wrong? Time for to go my head shrunk. Thank you for the stream and thanks for the. 
Badger, good luck tonight. Have a great session. Regisaur is not a bad 3-drop. What else, though, guys? Buccaneer. Buck. 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 Buccaneer. Um... I really like Neheb, actually. That's funny. I don't know if this card's good enough, but it looks, it feels like it's decent. What is embodiment? What is that? Why don't I have it here? Show me what you are. Oh, wait, never mind. Oops. Oh, this idiot? Um. God, I hate. This. Oh, it's a Cossus's boy. <laughs> oh, man. I think the Butcher and the Knights are still very, very good. Also, Chandra is a wrath like card. Are there any three mana planeswalkers that we care about? Soren. Hmm. Interesting, man. I just don't, I don't know if I want to go five drops. Blade Juggler. Now we just took out a bunch of uh, a bunch of spectacle cards. I don't think Blade Juggler is really where we want to be. I like six mana Lily, but I also wonder how many six drops we're gonna have in the deck. I like Rekindling Phoenix. I think that was a good addition. Let's look for three drops. Audacious Thief. Oh, I'm in. Let's switch it to this so we get a little more. I know there's got to be some good ones here, guys. I know there's got to be some some gems. Oh, what about just Midnight Reaper? I actually kind of like four Midnight Reapers a lot. I feel like Midnight Reaper is a really good option. I don't think Davriel's too. I, I'd rather have something like that that gets on the board actually. So I, I like Midnight Reaper better than something like Risk Factor. I also kind of like Krenko, but I don't think Krenko's, uh... What does three mana Chandra do? Oh, that is interesting, because of the Red Walkers. Oh, Red Walkers, keep on rolling, losing my mind. I don't, I don't know about Triple Red Chain World. I think I'm just going to try Midnight Reaper for now. Because we still have the... Uh, it's also decent with... Oh, it's non-token, so it's not going to hit for Dreadhorde, but I think that's still fine. Because it still hits with... Um, with Dreadhorde Butcher and Knight and Glenhorn Buccaneer. I do think we want some Cry of the Carnarium in the sideboard, though. One, two... Probably three. We can take out... One Lava Coil, one Angress Rampage. Probably one Fry. I think that's a fine... That's a fine configuration. Oh, Disfigure's good, too.
toss out some more codes, guys. Are you guys ready for the codes? We already cut Judith, because she's not doing what we want her to do. I sent you a non-magic email for you to read me how I'm on Oh, interesting. Oh, yes. I got that, actually. I'm actually gonna I, I'm gonna actually respond to you in a little bit. I think we could actually cut I think we could actually swap the uh, mountains for uh, for swamps so that we have one more one more mountain, one more swamp. If you know what I mean. He says when he gets three swamps, no mountains. Well, they probably planned for this, which is fine. It is what it is, but I'm not gonna not I'm not gonna not target this. This has been your daily NBA update. Is that true? Are, do I get a daily NBA update? Main deck hunter? What does that mean? What is there a card called Hunter? I'm gonna keep you better you guys better grab these codes that I'm putting in the chat. I can't imagine you not doing so this is this is stupid. This is obnoxious. Well, that would be... I... See, the more I play this form, I'm just like, oh, are these cards that I think are really good, like Chandra, and not just not good enough? <laughs> Someone here probably needs to hear it. Let's go to blockers. Now is my chance. Sure, dude. Sure, dude. Seems weird that when I'm tapped out, you wouldn't just give pro. I guess I guess I wasn't tapped out at the time. Yeah, it makes sense. I can't even fault you for it as much as I want to. All right, let's go to one. Yikes. The saddest buccaneer that ever was. No attacks. Too slow, you say? I'll block because I'm at one life. Come on, cast down. Well, now it's it's all for nothing. Dread horde butcher. And me with only two red sources, huh? Huh? Alright, let's go to the next game.
Okay, so lava coil, lava coil, lava coil, lava coil. Take out the knights. Take out one buccaneer. Maybe bring in cries. So Cry doesn't kill Honor Guard and it barely kills um, the other dude. I can see bringing Angrath in for... Eh, probably one Midnight Reaper. Lily would have, would have been better there. I agree with you. I agree with you. Maybe it's a Liliana deck and not a Chandra deck. Get to open on a Dread Horde in Black Knight for Pro White. That's a good idea. I think that's actually a solid strategy. Let's play this guy. Yeah, you can see like that our, our red man is definitely giving us a problem here. Skull Summit. That is one beautiful chicken. I mean, this is a pretty easy block, right? They have to pump it, and then, like, they'd still have to find an answer to kill the the Hatchy Boy. Okay, indestructible. Sounds good. Sounds wonderful. Shock. Oh, no shock. Fascinating. Beautiful, 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 beautiful chicken. So the tune of John Lennon's Beautiful Boy. In case you guys didn't catch it. Sacrifice creature, my dude. I'll let you choose. What are the, exactly the signs of a quality chicken? It's a good question. Oh, it's your boy. The hatchy, the chicken itself, is the whole thing elemental? That's a phoenix, and that the token is an elemental, yes. Thank you. 
Sure. Well, that's something in it. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome to the back. Whatever that means. No we're doing. Why wouldn't they kill this free kindling phoenix? Oh, I guess they just do it at EOT. They're going to kill all my things. What? This is sorcery? It's an instant. Why would they not? Oh, I can't say I understand that. It's very strange. Oh, that's sad. I guess we're just going to pass here. And then we lava coil, they just get God's willing back, so. They got a two here? Well, Fascinating. Huh. Well, this is something, isn't it? So... They have to do this correctly. Yeah, that's what I was hoping they wouldn't do. I was hoping they would God's Willing first and then Reckless Rage after because now they God's Willing and get both back. But I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it. Like, we just have to hope they mess up, so. So close, so close. Where's the skewer of the critics when you need it? Well, all right. I wish I could lava coil their face. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. Dankus, what's going on? What's the thoughts on Leyline of Abundance and Bant Ramp for this far? I have no idea. I've seen people using it. Okay. So, we're going to keep tweaking. Which sounds terrible when you say it like that, because then it's like it just sounds like you're a 
Sounds like you're a meth user. Okay. Liliana. I like these. I don't actually love this. Uh, we haven't actually drawn a buccaneer when it was relevant at any point. Doesn't does what does widespread cost four three? Hmm. That field damage equals power to each non-army creature. What if we do just make this? Like, it's totally not an aggro deck at that point, right? And then... Mercury Control dies, draw a card, which is great. Hmm. Do it. <laughs> As long as you're cool with it. Let's just... All right. Okay. So let's actually take out... Two black for two red. I'm just having a fun time messing around with this deck. And uh, trying to see what we come up with here. Dang it. Why are you like this? All right. So we're just going to lay it out like this. And then do a little plus two here. So eight seven is probably better. How many actually is it would be nine seven? How many lands is this? Twenty-three? Yes, we need one more here. Okay, so we have Liliana, we have Angrath. Uh cancel. This is still sixty cards. I agree that the journey is the best part, but I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page with that. Uh, if we make an army on turn two, and then even like, eh, it's a, even if we just have a one one, we're still dealing three damage to everything, which means this guy would survive. The three drop lets your lands tap for any. Are you talking about a chromatic lantern? Because the answer is yes. Let's look up black and red gold cards. I want to make sure we're not like. I'm always just clicking on random buttons. I'm like, is this it? Is this the button I want? Or is the buttons? Button, button. Who's got the buttons? I also wish there was a page uh, thing that I could just like, so I don't have to click through every single page. I just want to go to the end. I wish I could like, have like one through, pages one through ten, and I can click on the tenth page and just go there immediately. That's the world I want to live in. I want to look at the red and black cards and make sure we're not missing any sweet, sweet golden golden cards that's for a hearthstone little hearthstone meme there okay here we are look we made it look like we made it whenever a player sacrifices a permanent mammoth doesn't want to damage that player oh to any target um oh maybe with liliana's Yeah, the lag is lag is kicking up a little bit here. Guys, how do we feel about captive audience? It's too cute, right? It's a card I really want to play, but I think it's too cute, and it's seven mana. Uh, Bedeck Bedazzle actually seems great and it might be better than cast down here because it does kill things like a Danto Vanguard and uh, click the gold circle oh man what nothing happened you lied to me oh I also clicked the land didn't I I clicked this there we go all right there's a lot going on there's a lot of buttons here guys
I really want to put one captive audience on the deck, but it's just too, it's too greedy. It's got to be too greedy. Right? It's 100% too greedy, guys, right? Six drop Rakdos is weird. Um, he, like, destroys everything, like your stuff, too. You flip a coin for each creature that isn't a demon, a devil, or an imp, and you destroy each creature who's... Uh, whose coin comes up tails. So, like, you know, you could destroy all of your creatures and none of theirs. Or it's, I mean, he's a 6-6 six, six flyer with trample. It's pretty good. You think this is the best standard format since BFZ? <whistles> wow. Dankus, you are, you'd be crazy. All right, let's keep it going. What if we don't play any other creatures? I was thinking that too. I was also thinking that. I was like, that's an option. Triple Dragon Skull. You know what? I'll keep it. I'm not going to love it, but I'll keep it. This is a great curve. It's unfortunate that we're, you know, not, not a single land that comes into play untapped. Oh, look at that. We did it. Is invasion up on the sideboard? Like it doesn't do anything. Turn two and three. I'm gonna run against control matchups. Um, I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out, man. Glenhorn Buccaneer is fun. It's got a bunch of abilities. I just don't know if it's like where... I don't know if it's good enough. I like Captain Lannery Storm as well, but she's a lot more fragile. Oh my god, they just killed our... They just killed our devil. Oh, both of these guys are gonna trigger? Yes, please. Because treasures trigger the devil. Yes, I got it. <laughs> I understood. I understood. Buddy, I understand what you're saying. Well, that was rude. If you would have activated Buck, you would have triggered it. Yeah, sure, but I mean, like, I'd rather actually just play like Rekindling Phoenix. What? Seems good. How much are you 
much damage is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight. If we steal this, Okay. That ain't gonna do it. So we could steal one of these guys, then they have to block here, they take four, five, six. I think we're just gonna make them discard their last no card. Fire, no steel. Oof, that was a good one. Could they have played that last turn? Oh, they probably would have died, I guess. So they have to block this, they probably block here. Which is fine. I mean, they're at two life. They can top deck as many Command the Dread Hordes they want. We're doing it. Oh, that's pretty good. That was, I mean, as far as draws go, that was a good one. Yeah, and that's sad. Come on, cast down slash bedevil. I've weathered tougher storms than you. Seems good. Yep. I mean, I wish this guy had Trample or Lifelink. Lifelink would be great. I'm just a big Lifelink fan in general. Hydroid Crassus? Oh, just another Risen Reef, huh? What does even happen? Wow, this game got away from us. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. I guess it hasn't gotten away from us yet, but it's real close. Now it's gone.
Yep, there it goes. Turn too late, unfortunately. Yep. One, two, three. Sure. Goody. Whoa, amazing. Wake me up when elementals end. Thirteen cards left in your deck? Okay. Wow, we felt we were doing real good up until the point where they, uh, you know, flipped the script on us over here. Okay. They're like, you know what? I'll attack with this one branch walker. Change my mind, I'll attack with 35 guys. Solid strategy. Remember that time we added uh, widespread slaughter? I don't know what the card's called. We got one, two, three, four blockers. We take three, four, five, six, seven. We'd be dead. All right. So, boy, man, Rakdos just doesn't have what it takes. It's really sad. All right. Let's take a Gander. Pop it. Pop it up. Pop it. Pop it up and pop it. Widespread brutality. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. I'm gonna take the knight. We're gonna bring cries in. We're probably gonna take the knights out for cries. I don't even know what to bring in, really. I guess one lava coil. I don't know, man. This is like. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Oh, I don't love it. Yeah, all right, that's fine. We need some oomph like Chandra. Who's who's Chandra? What are you saying right now? Are you drunk? I don't think I like Buccaneer. I just don't think he does anything. He looks like he does something. He kind of tricks you into thinking he does something. But he doesn't do anything. I feel like there's got to be a good Rakdos deck. I just don't know what it has. The current standard does not take kindly towards Brewer. I completely agree with them. I, I I completely agree with that statement. I think that the decks that are good right now have so much card advantage that it's unbelievable. 
Like, you actually have, like, 35 ways to draw cards in, in most Tier 1 decks right now. And, like, unless you can comp compete with that with that kind of card advantage, you're just so far behind. Uh, it's definitely not just a limited card. Like, they don't just make... Like, they're not going to make a limit. It's not for limited, is my point. Like, because they're not going to make, like... They don't usually make rares and mythics for a limited. Wake me up when elementals end. I don't know if they, we don't have enough creatures for Ilharg. What would we even raise? What boars are we even going to be raising? I mean, this again. This is the situation where I'm like, I feel like we're doing well. We got a they're at eleven. We got a bunch of good cards on board. So, I'm just like, take out the swamps. Oh Jesus. All right, so one block there. You take four, five, six. We can discard two cards. You go to eight. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, that's disdainful. I agree. Even if you get one hidden with Captain Lannery Storm, you still get the treasure. Well, this is just going to be two to everything, which is not impressive. I mean, they have to block here and here, right? What? You did. Oh, dang it. Oh, biscuits. Buttery biscuits. Uh, maybe that, yeah, I feel like main mousing over it was the actual culprit there, which is pretty funny. song stuck in my head? I don't know. Captain Lannery Storm has been dead for 35 years! <laughs> uh, have you guys seen uh, Captain Lannery Storm recently? It, what do you... I'm sorry, son, what do you mean? You know, Captain Lannery Storm. Son, let me... I don't know how to break this to you, but Lannery Storm has been dead for 35 years. Hmm. Hmm. 
well. Wait, they're... Oh, they're... Oh, dang it. Each plane's are controlled comes for four. We're carrying a dragon. Alright, well. They have one... One little woodland cemetery up. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? We're gonna take this to the game three. Oh, okay. Oh no, hexproof. What? Wow, that's amazing. That's weird. That's a weird thing to do. Not great, Bob. Go to three life, three life. Well, well, they played it because then we couldn't target them with our with our Dreadhorde Butcher, which actually prevents them from losing. So I think it's actually a pretty pretty great play there. Alright, we'll say no attacks. Then they can get back their Vraska's Contempt next turn. They can get rid of our Dragon. They can attack our Sarkon. We can attack them down to... You know what? I don't know. We're probably just dead, okay? I feel like this deck is getting so close, but then like right, right when they're at like one literal one life, they they rip victory from the jaw. They rip victory from the jaws of defeat. Is that the saying? Is that is that rolling for here? So we deal five to everything, and unfortunately, these guys are bigger than that. So, we can attack for a bunch, they go block, block, they take three. Actually, that's not terrible, right? What did they get back? Hydrid Crassus, probably? Yeah, this is actually exactly what we wanted them to do. That's actually terrible. Oh, it's Jaws. You, you snatched Jaws from the Defeat of Victory. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I don't know how I missed that, actually. The amount of lands Jaws on... Yeah, I didn't want to put Captive Audience because I was like, guys, we only have 24 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lands. Two, uh, looks like eight spells. So, is this nine? Maybe nine spells. Still, when it's 24 to 36... It feels like you should always draw more spells than land, but what do I know? Banefire? One Banefire. Liliana? Huh? You're terrible. Do you ever think about that? Got him. Got him. Yeah. 
Yikes. All right. I think we're dead here. I think we're dead. Why do you keep saying to the library? What is that? Is that what she says? I actually don't even know what her, her thing is. Oh my God. Burn. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You should go to the hospital so they can apply some ointment to your burn. All right, Glenhorn Buccaneer. I only have one Captain Lannery Storm. I think th I think three is a good number because they're they're legendary. That gives us another card. It might just be a fourth Rekindling Phoenix. What good burn spells are there? I kind of like one Banefire just to like finish the job that I feel like we've been extending to reach. If we play, if we play Legion War Boss, we're definitely just taking out widespread brutality for sure because like that's just gonna kill all our things. Oh, authentic New York style pizza! Actually, definitely send me, definitely send me some pics. I want to judge it. Shoot me, shoot me some New York style texts. And we also have Bedeck over here too, which is nice, which we did not draw. I can actually see a third Bedeck Bedazzle. Um, instead of what did I what did I actually add? I don't know if I like the widespread brutality though. Maybe it's fine in the sideboard, but is there a card that lets us like sacrifice things for value, like to get rid of, like because I like that we have Dreadhorde Invasion. It's a nice outlet for sacking things. I'm a, I'm pretty much a cheese fan when it comes to pizza. <laughs> you guys love Bantu. You guys have a real Bantu uh, fixation. Actually, Cavalier Knight seems pretty good. Probably better than Sarkon, right? Nope, not fraying omnipotence for sure. Let's put three Cavaliers of Night up in this piece. Okay, what does this do? Uh, Converted mana costs three or less when you go to the battlefield. So we can get Lannery Storm, Knight, Midnight Reaper, or Dreadhorde. I'm not sure those are great. But we do have a ton of things to sacrifice. It also lets us kill Dreadhorde Butcher or Dreadhorde Invasion. Any of the Dreadhorders. Any codes coming soon? All right, let me toss a couple more out here for you guys. Bam. 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 Oh, God, look at them codes. Look at them codes, boys. Yeah, we can probably cut one of these guys. I think this is actually... This is probably what I'd try. Um, I think I'm going to go get some food now, though, because we're, we're over two hours already. But I don't know. This deck is in a weird place where, like, I really didn't dislike it. But I feel like it's just missing something. I don't know what it is. And maybe it just doesn't exist. Maybe it's just not a thing that exists for this archetype, right? I don't know. It's possible. Um... Dreadhorde Butcher might be a trap. Like, I mean, we could add something else, like... I don't even know. Like, it would probably be removal of some sort. Maybe maybe blight, maybe Lightning Skelemental. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's a modern card. But, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. This is the deck I would final... This is the final list I would probably go with. The 2-2, two -two, you can sack things to deal to. Oh, we don't have enough creatures, really. It's just... A, it, that would just be a 2-2, two -two, which I think Dreadhorde Butcher is actually better than. I'm not even like sold on Midnight Reaper because again we have Dreadhorde, but Dreadhorde Invasion, which is not even—they're not even ground creatures, you know. 
But either way, it's just it's still a 3-2 that replaces itself. It's good with Rekindling Phoenix, so I don't know. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. The, the deck list will be in the description. You can definitely check that out. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to have your own decks taken a look at, critiqued by me, definitely uh, check my Twitter, not my Twitter, my Twitch profile or my YouTube profile. Uh, you can find information on how to do that in there. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. That's all I got, I guess. Thanks for watching. Thank you to Wizards of the Coast as well for the sponsored stream. Really appreciate this. And I'll see you guys next time.